Hiya folks, it's uh, it's Monday. Wow, it's uh, Monday the 15th of December. This is Carl James Lanford on channel 01 to 1975. And, um, well, 10 days to go before Christmas. It, it, it's nearly there and it's nearly over. Depending on if you want to be positive or negative and you like Christmas. i got no decorations up. I don't really care, that's me. Anyway, this is my video log. If you've ever watched my video logs never before, then hi, it's me. I'm Carl James Langford. I'm as mad as a box of frogs. Um, I found today to be um, admission. Today got to me, and it got to me a lot. Um, I was out of kilter. Um, should have maybe gone to um, to see a short of um, to see a short film um, um, launch um, to uh, sort of uh, the uh, premiere of it. I, I I don't know. My head wasn't there. I didn't go. Um, loads of other things going on. Um, but I think I got through the day. There were solutions, and that was it. That the, my day worked out. So that's everything worked out today. So it's brilliant. So no worries. That's fine. I, I work through my, my problems. I, I, I work through them. Um, usually sleep helps. And then I woke up at, and I was just like, fine. Things were fine. And things gently worked out through the day. And that was it. Good. That, that, that's that done. And I'm sure we've all had those things. Right. Jake mentioned as well about um, the, uh, the acting sort of um, stuff that I'm planning for um, January. Um, still trying to sort out, make sure I've got the right day, Wednesday, um, and the time with the location. Might change a little bit, but hopefully not too much. Jake's right, I'm, I'm going to, um, lost days, yeah, I, I've, I, I've let it go on a back burner, but now I've got a date next week, a day next week where I'm going to sort out a couple of things with the script and then I'm going to get the script out um, to everyone um, and I'm going to say look Lost Days is, is happening and I've got to get it to happen um, I've got to make sure it happens um, because I've got a big year ahead of me 2015 is a big year for me 2014 has been a good big development year uh, lots of ups and down troughs and changes and stuff so this year has been really important next year 2015 is going to be as important again so lots happening Jake yeah you're right we'll we'll, we'll get Rob uh, directing uh, Lost Days so that would be brilliant if he's still watching my video uh, diaries because I'm uh, still communicating with him a lot so that's great that's fine um, so I've, I've got a big exciting project um, coming up in the year am um, I going to need everybody's support with it um, it's going to be b big for me it's going to be big for everybody around me and um, but I can't give any more details but it is in front of the camera um, for a fair few weeks and uh, if that comes off then it's going to be major and it'll be the time that I thank everybody for actually getting me there and uh, and yeah and we're, we're going to have a little do if it comes off at the end and everybody who supported me will be invited along and I really pre appreciate it folks watching these videos. Um, I thought today, right, um, I was on the train and I thought, well, why don't I um, introduce you to one zany thing in my life and explain another thing, right? The first thing is tea. My, my tea sort of um, sort of survey that I do with every production that I work on. Well, um, Saturday when, I, I don't know if we mentioned the, 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 the teas on Saturday. The tea was really nice on Saturday. Jilly and um, Tom got the tease on Saturday when we were all playing elves. And I've got to be honest with you, um, th they were really good at giving the tease and stuff. And they've been rewarded, no doubt. And yes, eight and eight and a half out of ten, Tom and Jilly. So well done. The reason I do that, if you don't have good cups of tea on set, or if you don't have teas and coffees on set, it means that you're not being looked after. OK, that's why I do my tea monitors on the productions I work on. Um, and if you're not being looked after, um, things ain't going too well. There's too much stress. If you're not having your cup of tea, then 
you're not getting you're not getting much relaxing time um, through moments. And if you're sat there doing nothing without a cup of tea, it's the worst feeling in the world. So that's why I do it. Right, okay, then the other thing as well is, um, sorry to offend anybody watching this, I'm going to explain the rules or not rules of bollocks chess. Um, that's a weird way into my life. I play bollocks chess with those that are on set. Ella knows the rules of bollocks chess, and I've been on set with her a, a number of times. Tom knows the rules of bollocks chess, and I've been on set with him, and other people have played bollocks chess with me. And bollocks chess is basically a game that the, the aim is to get random things on the table or to do random actions, i.e. you could do bollocks chess this way, right? You've got two imaginary pieces, you've got two people, maybe three people, with two imaginary pieces, chess pieces, right? And you've got to position them. And the other person positions a piece, and then you position a piece. But you've got to remember where all the pieces are, right? And if the other person forgets where they put a piece, right, and they move something somewhere else, they lose that piece. But you've got to make sure that um, they 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 can win the game by making mistakes. The whole aim of bollocks chess is to lose, and if you lose, you're the winner. So if you lose bollocks chess, right, it means you're the last person to go out, not the first person to win. Okay, it's complicated, it makes no sense, it's not meant to. Yes, I'm going to give you a demonstration of bollocks chess. Here we go, folks, right. A person puts a bottle on the table, right. You put a cup on the table. It's usually cups and stuff that are lying around on set. Right, so here we go, right, so the opponent has three cups, right, okay, okay, three cups, three things, right, and you've got two, and you've got a pen, right, so you move, and then they might move, right, and then they move, it's the usual thing of chess, right, and you can suddenly do cocky things like, like that, and they can say, that's an illegal move, so you've got to move it back, right, and then they move, right, and then you move this, and you can, and you just make up the rules as you go along, and you like this, and you say, and they say, you can't do that, that's an illegal move. And then they go like this, check. But if they accidentally move one of your pieces, right, okay, there is madness to this, right, that means that not only it's an illegal move, right, but, but your thing is taken away so that means you've only got two or three pieces of move so you can actually lose or win the game anyway you make the rules up as you go along and you can do bizarre things like this okay you can go like uh hang on you take your own pieces right and somebody else comes in and you could go so those two pieces are gone and then you're left with two pieces right oh and you can say all oh, this it's absolute bollocks this game of bollocks chess but you know what I seem to win and that means I've lost so it's ruined my day it's ruined my life anyway um, those that have, uh, those that um, vaguely understand me you can do bollocks chess with your actually it's it's an acting thing right it, it's it's acting training so you can like so you can look at somebody in their face and you can like do this right with your own nose and then they they, they do another movement with their nose and you might go like that, right, you, uh, that's an illegal move, right, anyway, it's completely barking, but hopefully you've enjoyed my video log, um, for this glorious Monday, and keep on watching, because I'm nuts, cheers folks, keep being bonkers!